She is an Emmy and Golden Globe winning actress, singer, comedian who happens to have a hit game show and she stars on a wildly popular musical comedy drama. In other words, you wrap it all up, she does it all. And as we borrow a classic line from her show Glee, you are about to board the Sue Sylvester Express because Jane Lynch is in the house today. Oh. Thank you for stopping by today. Thank you for having me my, today. One of my good friends said that he likes you because you seem very principled. And I agreed with him. I hadn't, I hadn't thought about that, but I think that that's a pretty accurate description. Well, that's nice. That's a nice thing to say about a person. So thank your friend. Yeah, well, I absolutely, no, I borrowed that. And I had to get his permission for that as well. <laughs> but listen, I want to I issue a big congratulations because you just finished up your cabaret debut at 54 Below. Yeah. This was a first, which I'm surprised. Yes. I mean, you're musically inclined. Inclined, indeed. And I, I wanted, I was kind of auditioning for myself to see if this is something I want to do. And I had a blast. I passed the audition. I feel like I, I know <laughs> no what I'm left. doing. No I, I feel good. In. I feel good about it, and um, now I'm going to do more. You I'll are going to do more. I will do more. Well, because you you played Miss Hannigan in Annie on right. Broadway. So I mean, this is like not necessarily a foreign uh, place for you. To no, be and you know, I started out before I got Glee, and even before like Best in Show, um, uh, which was kind of the movie that put me into a different league. I uh, did cabaret shows all over Los Angeles where you know you, you you had an act and you would show up at a at a sketch comedy show or a cabaret and you'd do your song or your monologue. So I'm kind of used to that um, you know kind of Pulling something out of your, you know what, and, and uh, coming up, coming up with something. Hey, listen, this is the internet, so I mean, you can probably say it. I mean, we'll, we'll geo block it in those countries right, that exactly. have those regulations. Right, right. I read somewhere that you nothing makes you happier than singing. Though. That's I mean, true. I think a lot of people would find that very interesting because I mean, yes, you've done some singing on Glee, but not. I to don't the do point. a Lee. I don't sing a, a bunch on Glee, but I, you know, I, I love to sing. I come from a family that not, we're not necessarily singers, but we love music. I was brought up with musicals, and nothing makes me happy. Happier. I mean, it brings tears to my eyes. I, I, right now, I'm listening to Manhattan Transfer. Oh, that, the, yeah, Remember yeah. that album? I, yeah. I mean, back in the 80s, I listened to it, and um, I'm re-listening to it again, and it's coming back to me why I love them so much, you know. And Which is obviously why you're going to be having this become a reoccurring theme, then, yeah. for your career. Yeah. Because Glee is wrapping up, sadly. I yes. mean, a lot of people have thought that this day would never come. Yeah. And you yourself have said uh, that yeah, you're kind of... Yeah, I love it. Of... I love this show. I'm really sad to see it go, but we have 12 left, and we're going to make them great. You know, they're going to be a lot of fun. Can you give me any kind of secret of what's going to happen? No, because I don't know. You... I have no idea. I find that so hard to Isn't believe. Isn't crazy? I, mean, I don't think they know right now. <laughs> You know, they're kind they're of just bouncing ideas off each other, the writers, I mean, yeah. Just kind of like, wait, wait the week before. Yeah, oh, the week, you know. the day before sometimes, yeah. It, it gets that intense. Your character has certainly changed a lot over the years. I mean, I think when she was first introduced, everyone hated her. Mm -hmm. But you have softened it up to the point where it's like that lovable hate that you're <laughs> kind of like, I don't want to say that you're like the Grinch. W you know, with well, a vocal sort of, ability. Yeah, I played the Grinch in one episode. Right. I think what I mean, this is where, where I thank the writers so much for this is um, she's she's like a warrior and is always uh, on the attack, but she's protecting something very vulnerable and very tender inside of her. And some and sometimes it's personified in um, Becky, the her uh, lieutenant who has Down syndrome, and uh, her sister who also had uh, uh, Down syndrome, and so she's been protecting the innocent for a long time and doing it like a warrior. So she, there's two sides to her for sure. A champion with barbs that you have to watch her back. Yes, exactly. So people are so frantic to know exactly what's going to happen on this final season. You right. know, some of the Twitter accounts from some of your co-stars yes. were hacked. Did That's you, did you hear I about hear. all this? I heard about so that. Chris Colfer's account was hacked, and, and this is what the fake tweet said. Mm -hmm. Due to the personal issues, I've been let go from the cast of Glee. Explanations will come shortly. No, I can't imagine he would have tweeted something like that anyway, even I, if it were true. So, right, and exactly. Yeah. But when you saw that, there were you kind of like, who, who, who's? Doing? I didn't know about it. I, I didn't. I didn't hear about it until it was proven that it was not his. And you've got like two million followers. I mean, are you worried yeah. about that? Not at all. No. no? I, there are bigger things in life to worry about than if someone hacks my Twitter account. What, what do you want to see Sue, Sue Sylvester do in the final season? Well, I really love the way they give me um, great things to champion. Uh, uh, you know, great issues to champion, and um, uh, I think I will. I have a feeling. I don't know this for for sure. I'll become less of an antagonist. I mean, I'm, she's always going to be pushing people's buttons and pushing people, you know, to the edge. But I think she's uh, going to be more facilitating 
uh, the Glee Club, and maybe because she's the principal now. Right. Um, and what's happened to her since she's become the principal is it's her mission has become bigger than just for herself. She's now uh, protecting an entire school, and the Glee Club falls under the auspices of this school. So we'll we'll see if if she's a little softer on them. So Glee wrapping up. 54 Below being yeah. the debut and kind of starting that train to yes. leave out as well. And you've just been renewed for a third season for Hollywood Game Night as well. Well, yeah, well, I don't know exactly when we're going to start. or I think we probably will do more, So, I'm, <laughs> but I'm thrilled. I, I love doing that show. I love I love uh, uh, playing the games and being the host. It's 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 a dream job. I mean, you, you've, got, you've got this persona, and I was thinking about this last night. I thought, you know, when I first saw you in some of your early work, like Best in Show, mm -hmm. I thought she is a very strong woman, and again, to borrow very principled, and I thought she's sort of like sea salt caramel. It's like you're, you're, you're very intense and you think this is going to be too much and too overbearing and then you kind of let it rest on your palate and you're like, I wow. think I'll have more. That's that. I thank you. First of all, I love sea salt caramel. Who, so to be compared on every, with that, it's, and you have the, I have that experience too. This is going to be too much. It's going to be too strong. And you go, mm. Well, thank you. It's it, 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 it's a high it's, praise. It's, it's a it's a it's a pleasure for the palate. Now you've also <laughs> you've also teamed up with Febreze I in have. your latest project. Tell me about this. Well, I, we did this hilarious PSA with. Uh, we've also partnered with Funny or Die, and it's a bunch of really really funny girls and myself. And we do this intervention on uh, a, another member of the group about her house stinking. Right. Uh, because they there is actually scientific proof that you become accustomed to the smells in your own. Uh, environment to the point where you don't even notice them anymore and it takes somebody coming into your house to go you know what you need some Febreze your house stinks so we did a kind of a mock PSA and it's very funny and um, you know the uh, we did sell, helping people understand that you become adapted to the smells in your own environment that you don't even smell them anymore you so, don't have to live in your own filth you don't have to live in your own filth your own stink <laughs> you, you, know, you walk in and a house smells like kitty litter you know and maybe no one you don't smell it but your friends do this is a, this is some of the PSA right here you're talking right. about oh, good. I thought we were all here to confront Nora about becoming nose blind. Ouch! Wow. That's some heavy stuff, huh? Wait, weren't you just sitting If you or someone you know is going nose blind, there's a way to treat it. How? Leave town, change your name, burn your fingerprints, and start anew. Really? Yes, Felicia. I'm Allison. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm joking. Except about there being a treatment. Febreze! Febreze doesn't mask, but truly eliminates odors. I love Isn't that. Isn't that cute? I absolutely. I which, by, by the way, your 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 people because you yes. have people. I don't know if you I have, have people. but no, your your people like commanded me yesterday. Make sure that you watch the PSA. Oh, ahead those of people. Time. Oh, well, yeah. that, yes, good. And you needed to watch it because well, the, it's hilarious. The, I mean, the fine folks at Funny or Die. I mean, yeah. they're fine. But Febreze, yeah. you don't want to screw around with your old you factory. No, 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 no. You don't want to fool around with that. Let me ask you this then: If yes. Febreze came to you and said, "We want to have a Jane Lynch smell," what would that be? Um, let's see. That's interesting because I I'm very smell oriented. Are you? Yes, I, I want to. Yeah. Come on. Very. Oh, what are you very wearing? Clean. What very are you clean. wearing? It's kind of a citrus with a little bit of a musky undertone. Oh. Which works. You, you've and you've got the terminology yes, down um, as it's well. It's kind of it's kind of like a ylang lang, okay. which is kind of musky right. by itself, almost too much. But you put a little orange in there, a little a little citrus, and uh, you've got the Jane Lynch signature stink. Lighten, lighten. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the Lynch smell yeah. as well. I think for me, I think it would be ice cream and glitter. Ice cream and I glitter. Think, I think if, if you would like to, to create some kind of a Febreze line. So maybe that will be next year's venture. Yeah, exactly. Ice cream and glitter. I love it. <laughs> what, are you plan, what are your plans for the summer? I'm going, to, I'm going on vacation with my family who live in Chicago. They're all flying into Los Angeles, and we're going up to Santa Barbara for about two weeks. Amazing. It's gonna be great. It's, 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 and you, like, is it bocce ball? Is it badminton? Is it cookouts? What I is, think what? it'll be cookouts, and it's you know botanical gardens, that sort of thing. Going to the beach, um, going out to dinner. You know, this is something I haven't done with my family. It's my sister, my brother, the kids. Uh, I haven't done gone out on vacation with my family since you know Florida in 1972. So wow. it'll be kind of fun. Yeah. A two-week two vacation. Well, a yeah. respite that is certainly very well oh. earned. Oh, Glee thank wrapping you. up. Thank you. Hollywood game night, yep. and we're gonna look for more. More cabaret acts yes, as well. Yes, please, please do. Jane Lynch, thank you so thank much. Thank you, sir.